What's going on and welcome to Gaming with Bare Hands. I'm Bare Hands and I'm here to learn you some things with the tornado spell. Take it away, miner. After the December 15th update to the Tornado spell, increasing its radius and pulling strength, the usefulness for this card skyrocketed. Using the Tornado now provides countless opportunities to turn desperate situations into game-changing plays. This video will teach how to use the Tornado to activate your King's Tower early, before a Crown Tower has fallen. We will refer to this technique as a King Pop. With the new and improved Tornado spell, King Pops are no longer as difficult as they once were. Because of this, true mastery is only revealed by how well you mitigate damage to your towers in execution. For instance, simply using the Prince for this pull is not difficult, but is it worth stopping your learning journey there at such great cost to your tower? Let's start with some easy pulls. To King Pop with a Goblin Barrel, place the Tornado on a tile next to the King's Tower and release BEFORE the barrel lands. Unfortunately for the miner, these are now the only two pop-free tiles adjacent to the tower. Anything else at the top will pull two tiles up from the Merlin. And anything under the pop-free zone, pull two tiles over directly under the path. It is crucial at this point that you sear into your memory what will forever be known and feared as, at least until the next update, the Tornado Master Tiles. We will use one of the two Master Tiles, respected to the side on which our opponent attacks, for almost every King Pop we notice moving forward. Draw the giant toward the middle with a cross lane tombstone or cannon, and pull it down toward the king. Amazingly enough, you don't even need to draw the giant toward the middle. You can pull him directly off your tower. This is not the recommended play though, as you will sustain massive damage to both towers needlessly. Instead, use the master tile, releasing the tornado as the giant steps on its sucky edge. You won't take a single hit to your crown tower, and the king pop will create permanent defense for the match. Better still, place a Tank Slayer in front of your tower right as he approaches. If timed correctly with the Tornado, it is the ultimate, efficiently mitigated giant pop. Not taking more than a single hit, with that hit being a King Pop, is an epic hog shutdown. You know what to do. On the Master Tile, release the Tornado right before the hog touches its radius. Normally a pig pushed hog ends up on the outside of the path here, and like the miner, can be pulled two up from the king, but this allows for unwanted damage, not to mention the backup that pushed the hog in the first place. You can be very creative to solve this by placing almost any ground unit on the outside of the path to reverse pig push, while very quickly dropping the tornado on our favorite tile. Again, reverse pig push plus a fast drop master tile equals a pro play double pig push pulled pork king pop. Like I said, you can be very creative with your reverse pig push. Just understand that some options may be slightly more punishing than others. Let's wrap it up with a quick rundown of some other units. Prince is a master tile pull, but best to Ice Spirit or Ice Golem to cancel the charge. Treat the guards like a goblin barrel, pulling it against the king. For Valkyries, Knights, Lumberjacks, and Mini Pekkas, the Tornado Master Tile placement prevents all damage to the Crown Tower and provides a King Pop. The only slight variance is with the Lumberjack and Mini Pekka, because of their lower health. For either of the two to get a swing on the King, the Tornado has to be played a second earlier before they reach it, allowing an early release. Okay. 
as always, thanks for commenting, liking, and subscribing. I hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to come back for more Gaming with Bare Hands.